Hey everyone, welcome back to Immortal News. Today we're taking a look at the lives of some remarkable people who recently passed away. We also have a sad update regarding renowned supermodel and actress Cara Delevingne. As always at Immortal News we want to remember those who've made a difference. If their stories hit you in the feels, give the video a thumbs up. Let's share some respect and remember the amazing people we've lost. Number 11. Georgi Tsane Janelidze a renowned fitness influencer recognized for his compelling exercise and travel footage on Instagram, passed away tragically at the age of 23 after falling into a ravine while exploring a historic mountain village in Rogudi Vecchio, Calabria, with friends. The event occurred on a balcony without a railing, resulting in a tragic fall despite rescue efforts. He was born in Georgia and now lives in Greece, and he is well known in fitness circles with over 100,000 Instagram followers who share his love of fitness and adventure. Aside from his social media presence, he co-founded a company that sells t-shirts and protein powder, demonstrating his entrepreneurial drive. His passing has had a great impact on his friends, family, and admirers, with his girlfriend Elena Margariti expressing her grief and recollections of their shared ambitions and travels. Despite his early age, his legacy as a popular figure in the fitness world and a source of inspiration to many will definitely live on. Tributes to Georgi Janalidze. Number 10. Joe Camp, the visionary American director and writer renowned for creating the beloved Benji film series, passed away on March 15th at the age of 84. Camp, who brought the heartwarming tale of a lovable mixed-breed dog to audiences worldwide, left a lasting mark on the film industry and animal lovers everywhere. A graduate of the University of Mississippi with a degree in advertising and marketing, Camp's journey to filmmaking was fueled by passion and resilience. Despite initial rejections from Hollywood, his persistence and innovative marketing strategies led to the success of Benji, a film that would spawn several sequels and solidify his legacy. Beyond Benji, Camp's directorial prowess was evident in other works such as Humps and The Double MacGuffin, showcasing his versatile storytelling ability. Camp's connection with animals extended beyond the silver screen. He was an avid horseman, sharing his life and home with five horses and authored books that reflected his deep understanding and love for these majestic creatures. His writings, including The Soul of a Horse and Born Wild, offer insightful life lessons from the herd demonstrating his profound connection with the natural world. In addition to his cinematic achievements, Camp was a prolific author, sharing his experiences and the challenges he overcame in his autobiography, Underdog, How One Man Turned Hollywood Rejection into the Worldwide Phenomenon of Benji. His story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the impact one individual can have on the world. Joe Camp's legacy extends far beyond the films he created. He inspired generations to look at animals with empathy and understanding, enriching the lives of all who encountered his work. As we remember Camp, we celebrate a man who used his creativity and compassion to make the world a better place for both humans and animals alike. Tributes to Joe Camp. Number 9. Angela McCluskey, the cherished Scottish singer-songwriter known for her ethereal voice and influential contributions to the music scene, passed away on March 14 at the age of 64. Born in Glasgow, Scotland, Angela's journey in music took her from London's bustling streets to the vibrant creative landscape of California. Her unique talent and distinctive voice led her to collaborate with notable artists and bands, including the renowned Wild Colonials and the electronic group Telepop Music. Angela's voice became synonymous with the hit song Breathe, a collaboration with Telepop Music that not only charted internationally, but also became a staple in advertisements and soundtracks, showcasing her ability to leave a mark beyond the traditional music venues. Her work spanned across various mediums, from films to commercials, embedding her voice in the hearts of audiences worldwide. Beyond her notable collaborations, Angela's solo career flourished with albums like The Things We Do and You Could Start a Fight in an Empty House, which featured her poetic lyricism and captivating melodies. Her music was not just heard, it was felt, offering solace, inspiration, 
and a touch of magic to those who listened. Her legacy extends beyond her music. Angela was a beacon of creativity and passion, inspiring fellow musicians and fans with her dedication to her art and her ability to convey profound emotions through her songs. She will be remembered not only for her contributions to music but also for her spirited personality and the lasting impact she made on every project she touched. Tributes have poured in from fans, collaborators, and friends, reflecting the love and respect she garnered throughout her career. Her husband, Paul Cantillon, and her family have lost a luminous presence in their lives, but her legacy will continue to inspire and enchant future generations. Tributes to Angela McCluskey Number 8. Larry H. Parker, a personal injury attorney known for his iconic and aggressive motto, We'll Fight For You, has passed away at the age of 75. The details surrounding his death, including the time, location, and cause, have yet to be disclosed by his family and firm. Parker became a household name in Southern California, his visage familiar from decades of advertisements across TV, radio, billboards, and bus benches, marking him as a pioneering figure in legal marketing. Beyond being the face of his own firm, Larry H. Parker was associated with a larger conglomerate of law firms, yet he remained the quintessential symbol of legal advocacy for those affected by auto accidents and personal injuries. His firm, the Law Offices of Larry H. Parker, has been a prominent presence for over 50 years, inspiring numerous imitators and becoming a part of popular culture. With his marketing tactics reputedly inspiring sketches on shows like Saturday Night Live, Parker's legacy extends beyond his advertising prowess. He was a tireless advocate for his clients, embodying the promise of staunch legal support in times of need. Tributes to Larry H. Parker. Number 7. Fred Four, an influential figure in sports journalism and radio broadcasting in Houston, Texas, passed away on March 14, 2024, at the age of 59. A man of many talents, Four left a lasting mark on the sports media landscape through his work as a co-host on KFNC's The Blitz, editor of SportsMap Houston, sports editor at the Houston Chronicle, and his creative endeavors as an author and musician. Fred's passion for sports journalism was inherited from his parents, with his father having a long tenure at the Houston Chronicle and his mother breaking barriers as the first female sports editor in Texas. Starting his career in sports journalism at a young age, Fred's dedication and talent propelled him to significant roles, including becoming the sports editor at the Houston Chronicle. Under his guidance, the Chronicle's sports section was heralded as one of the best in the nation, and his contributions to horse racing journalism earned him three major awards. Fayur's transition to sports radio saw him co-host The Blitz, a show that became a staple for Houston sports fans and consistently ranked high in its time slot. His wit, insights, and the occasional on-air antics captured the attention and hearts of listeners, making him a beloved figure in the sports community. In addition to his work in journalism and radio, Fred was known for his love of gambling, with notable achievements including qualifying for the 2006 World Series of Poker main event online with only a $9 investment. He was also the author of Jesus Just Left Chicago, a novel that is being adapted into a film showcasing his versatile talents and creativity. Fawar's impact on sports media and the community in Houston was profound. His legacy will be remembered for his contributions to sports journalism, his dynamic presence on the radio, and his passion for storytelling. He was a true icon in the world of sports media, whose life and career inspired many. Tributes to Fred Fowler. Number 6. Alexander Shervint, an iconic figure in Soviet and Russian cinema, stage and voice acting, passed away on March 15, at the venerable age of 89. Born into a musically gifted family in Moscow, Shervint's artistic journey was marked by an early exposure to the arts. 
thanks to his violinist father and musically involved mother. His passion for the performing arts led him to graduate from the Boris Shchukin Theater Institute in 1956, the same year he made his film debut, setting the stage for a prolific career that would span decades. Over the years, Shervent graced the silver screen in over 40 films, leaving a lasting mark with memorable performances in classics such as Grandad's Robbers, The Irony of Fate, The Twelve Chairs, Three Men in a Boat, Station for Two, and the much-beloved sequel, The Irony of Fate Two. His versatility shone through his voice acting as well, most notably as Aramis in Dog in Boots. In 1989, his contributions to the arts were recognized when he was honored as a People's Artist of the RSFSR. Shervint's artistic influence extended beyond acting into directing, where he served as the theater director of Moscow Satire Theater since 2000, further cementing his legacy in Russian theater. His passing marks the end of an era for Russian cinema and theater, leaving behind a legacy of artistic brilliance, cultural impact, and the enduring love of countless fans. Alexander Shervint's life was a testament to the power of the performing arts to inspire, entertain, and move audiences across generations. Tributes to Alexander Shervint. Number 5. Lamara Chikonia, the revered Georgian soprano whose illustrious career transcended the Iron Curtain, passed away at the age of 93 on March 14. Born into a family steeped in the arts, Chikonia's early life was shadowed by the execution of her uncle during the Great Purge, yet her spirit and talent soared beyond these challenges. At the Tbilisi State Conservatoire, she honed her craft under the tutelage of Valerian Caselli, embracing the Italian opera school's influence which became a hallmark of her performances. Chikonia's repertoire was vast, encompassing around 40 opera parts, including iconic roles such as Violetta, Madame Butterfly, and Gilda. Her voice was immortalized in over 15 CDs for the Golden Fund of the USSR, testifying to her prominence within and beyond the Soviet Union. Her talents were recognized internationally, with Chikonia being the first Georgian female singer to earn accolades in vocal competitions across the globe. Throughout her career, Chikonia graced the stages of renowned theaters, including the Kiev National Opera and Ballet Theater and the Kirov Marinsky Theater. Her performances captivated audiences that included world leaders, earning her a place among the celebrated artists of her time. Beyond her performances, Chikonia contributed to the cultural legacy through her teaching, passing on her knowledge to the next generation of singers, including her daughters Etri Lamoris and Natala Nikolai. In her later years, Chikonia continued to enrich the world of opera from Madrid, sharing her wisdom through teaching and master classes. Her 80th birthday was celebrated with much fanfare, a testament to her enduring impact on the world of music and opera. Lamara Chikonia's legacy is a beacon of artistic excellence, resilience, and dedication to the craft of opera singing. Tributes to this extraordinary artist, whose voice and spirit will forever resonate in the halls of opera and in the hearts of those who had the privilege to witness her artistry. Tributes to Lamara Chikonia. Number 4. Ira Milstein, a titan in the field of antitrust law, professorship and authorship, passed away at the age of 97 on March 13 in Mamaroneck, New York. Born in Manhattan in 1926, Milstein's illustrious career spanned over seven decades, during which he became renowned for his contributions to corporate governance and antitrust legislation. A graduate of the Bronx High School of Science, Columbia School of Engineering and Applied Science, and Columbia Law School, he joined Weil, Gutschall and Mangus in 1951 and remained a pivotal figure in the firm, celebrating his 70th anniversary in 2021. Milstein's influence extended beyond the courtroom, he played a critical role in advising the boards of major corporations like General Motors and the Walt Disney Company. His involvement in New York's financial rescue during the 1970s highlighted his commitment to public service and economic stability. A close friend of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Milstein also facilitated key introductions that furthered her judicial career. As a passionate advocate for stakeholder capitalism, Milstein's work with the Business Roundtable and the OECD helped shape corporate governance standards globally. 
His legacy also thrives through the Milstein Center for Global Markets and Corporate Ownership at Columbia Law School, which he founded to explore evolving corporate governance dynamics. Milstein's personal life was marked by his marriage to Diane Greenberg and later to Susan Marie Frame, as well as his dedication to public institutions like the Central Park Conservancy, the National September 11th Memorial and Museum, and the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. His passing is a loss to the legal, academic, and civic communities to which he contributed so significantly. Tributes to Ira Milstein. Number 3. James Whitbourne, a distinguished British composer and conductor, passed away at the age of 60 on March 12th after a courageous battle with cancer. Born in Kent and an alumnus of Magdalen College, Oxford, Whitbourne's unique musical voice was shaped by his early work at the BBC, where he produced several award-winning programs. His compositions, known for their profound connection with audiences, have left a lasting mark on the world of music. Whitbourne's collaborations with prestigious ensembles such as the BBC Philharmonic and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra brought forth monumental works that have resonated globally. His setting of the diary of Anne Frank in Annalise stands as a towering achievement, offering a poignant musical tribute to the human spirit in the face of adversity. This work, among others like the Son of God Mass and Luminosity, showcases Whitbourne's ability to blend choral tradition with innovative textures and harmonies. His partnership with the late tenor Robert Teer and his contributions to major liturgical and concert venues, including King's College, Cambridge, underscored his versatility and depth as a composer. Whitbourne's influence extended into academia as well, where he served as a senior research fellow and director of music at various colleges within the University of Oxford, nurturing the next generation of musicians. Whitbourne's legacy is not only etched in his compositions but also in the many performances and recordings that continue to captivate and inspire. His work has been honored with international awards and Grammy nominations, affirming his significant impact on contemporary music. As we remember James Whitbourne, we reflect on a life dedicated to musical exploration and expression. His contributions have enriched the tapestry of choral and orchestral literature, leaving a lasting legacy that will continue to inspire musicians and audiences alike. Tributes to James Whitbourne. Number two. Jim McAndrew, an American professional baseball pitcher known for his role with the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres, passed away at the age of 80 on March 14, following a brief illness at Honor Health Scottsdale Shea Medical Center. Born on January 11, 1944 in Lost Nation, Iowa, McAndrew's early life on a farm and his dedication to sports at the University of Iowa laid the foundation for his future in baseball. McAndrew, a key figure in the Mets' miraculous 1969 World Series victory and their 1973 National League pennant win, showcased his talent and determination throughout his seven-year Major League Baseball career. Despite not pitching in the World Series games due to the depth of talent in the Mets roster, his contributions during the seasons were vital to the team's success. His legacy includes a record of dedication and perseverance, exemplified by his career stats of 37 wins, 53 losses, and a commendable 3.65 ERA over 161 games. After retiring from baseball in 1974, McAndrew pursued a career outside of sports, eventually settling into retirement in Fountain Hills, Arizona, with his wife Lynn. The couple had four children, including Jamie McAndrew, who followed in his father's footsteps to pitch in the major leagues. McAndrew's passing marks the loss of not just a remarkable athlete, but a beloved family man, and community member. His journey from the fields of Iowa to the pitcher's mound in New York carries a message of hard work, passion, and resilience. As we remember McAndrew, we celebrate a man whose contributions to baseball and his enduring spirit will not be forgotten. Tributes to Jim McAndrew.
Today's top headlines. News 1. Ikan Su Kulkula Glue, a beloved figure from Celebrity Big Brother, has been thrust into a challenging spotlight, facing physical abuse threats and intense trolling, as shared by her family on her Instagram stories. The distressing reaction came after a highly emotional episode where tensions flared during face-to-face nominations, leaving Ikan Su in tears. Despite a robust welfare plan by TV bosses to support stars during their reality show journey, Ikan Su's experience has sparked a wider conversation on the impact of trolling. Her family's heartfelt plea for kindness underscores the reality behind the edited entertainment we see on screen, reminding viewers of the human emotions involved. Amidst the backlash, Ikan Su also received a flood of support from fans, rallying to save her from eviction and admiring her genuineness. This incident shines a light on the need for compassion in our engagement with reality TV stars, highlighting the fine line between entertainment and the real emotional toll on participants. News 2. In a powerful reminder of life's fragility, Dr. Dre candidly shared the harrowing details of his health scare following a 2021 brain aneurysm, revealing he suffered three strokes during his hospitalization. Speaking with James Corden on Sirius XM, the celebrated rapper and producer reflected on the life-altering experience that deepened his gratitude for every moment. Despite maintaining a health-conscious lifestyle, Dre faced the unforeseen challenge head-on, learning of his hereditary risk factors. His story sheds light on the silent killer of high blood pressure, especially among black men, underscoring the importance of regular health checkups. Dre's resilience in the face of adversity and his message of cherishing life resonate profoundly, inspiring a renewed perspective on health, well-being, and the unexpected turns our journeys can take. News 3. The Toronto Raptors and the entire basketball community are mourning the loss of Nathan Barrett, the younger brother of Raptors forward R.J. Barrett. The Barrett family, through a statement shared by the Raptors and Canada Basketball, announced that Nathan passed away on Tuesday, surrounded by his loved ones, including family, church members, and friends. The family did not disclose a cause of death, but remembered Nathan as a God-fearing young man of strong character, who was thoughtful, kind, loving, compassionate, creative, admirable, and driven. The loss of Nathan has deeply affected the Barrett family including RJ's father, Rowan Barrett, who serves as the general manager of Canada Basketball. The family has requested privacy during this difficult time, but expressed gratitude for the widespread love, support, and prayers they have received. RJ Barrett, a key player for the Raptors, was understandably absent from Wednesday's game against the Detroit Pistons. As the basketball community comes together to support the Barrett family, Nathan's memory will undoubtedly live on in the hearts of those who knew him. News 4. Cara Delavan, the renowned supermodel and actress, suffered a heartbreaking loss as her Los Angeles home was engulfed in flames early on February 15th morning. Delavan, who was in London performing in cabaret at the time, took to Instagram to express her devastation. My heart is broken today. I cannot believe it she stated, urging her followers to cherish what they have as life can change in a blink of an eye. The fire, which required the efforts of 94 firefighters over two hours to extinguish, resulted in one firefighter being hospitalized in fair condition and a minor injury due to smoke inhalation to an occupant. De La Ving's post also relieved fans by confirming her beloved cat's survival sharing her gratitude towards the firefighters for their heroic efforts. Her home, featured in Architectural Digest for its unique and vibrant decor, including a David Lynch-inspired poker room and tributes to iconic figures like David Bowie, has been a testament to Delavine's eclectic and adventurous spirit. The loss of this personal and creatively curated space marks a profound moment of change for the star. Number one. Lekan Balogun, the revered 42nd Olubadan of Ibadan, passed away at the age of 81 on March 14, leaving behind a legacy that spanned various facets of Nigerian society. Born in Ibadan Oyo State, 
But Logan was a beacon of education and leadership, holding a master's degree in administration and economics from Brunel University and a PhD. His early career saw him contributing significantly to social services in the UK before returning to Nigeria to immerse himself in academia, politics, and eventually traditional leadership. As a senator representing Oyo Central Senatorial District, Balogun distinguished himself as a committed lawmaker and a visionary, serving on multiple Senate committees. His academic and political careers were marked by a deep commitment to development, justice, and effective governance, as evidenced by his numerous publications on Nigeria's development plans and social justice. His ascension to the throne as the Olubaden of Ibadan land in March 2022 by Governor Sey Makinda was a testament to his leadership qualities and his profound impact on his community. Balogun's reign, though brief, was a period of significant contribution to the peace and development of Ibadan land. He was a respected figure, not only for his academic and political achievements, but also for his role in the traditional and cultural preservation of the Yoruba people. Balogun's death is a monumental loss to the people of Ibadan and Nigeria at large. He was a man of wisdom, integrity and profound influence, whose life's work significantly shaped the spheres of academia, politics, and traditional leadership. Tributes have poured in, reflecting the deep respect and admiration for his contributions to society. In his personal life, Balogun was a devout Muslim, a loving husband, and a father, embodying the virtues of compassion, dedication, and leadership in both his public and private life. Tributes to Lakan Balogun